Hi, I'm Gavin Smith, and I'm a product marketing manager for the Radio Power Solutions team at NXP. Today, we're going to show you our brand new GAN device targeted for RF energy. At NXP, we've been creating industry-leading devices for newer use cases, like RF energy. We wanted a transistor that can compete with the efficiency of magnetrons, and that is what we call the MRF24G300HS. This part combines the high efficiency of GAN with the thermal behavior of silicon carbide. It is the first solid state device to exceed the efficiency of magnetrons. The MRF24G300HS delivers 73% drain efficiency, 5% above the latest LDMOS for 330 watts at 2.45 gigahertz. Solid state enables precise control, reliability, longevity, and ease of use compared to vacuum tubes. The MRF24G300HS brings the benefits of solid state without compromise on performance. This opens the door to new use cases of data intensive consumer and industrial heating applications. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of this GAN on SICK device for RF energy. It has high efficiency of 73% with no compromise. Higher power with fewer transistors to combine, enabling faster design cycles. It is 48 or 50 volt operation and fits standard power supplies. It has lower temperature for enhanced reliability and manufacturing consistency. For target applications, we have industrial, like heating, drying, and welding. We have medical, diathermy and ablation. We have cooking, such as microwave ovens. We also have new and emerging applications that come to us daily. Digging into the details of the MRF24G300HS, you can see that it operates at 330 watt CW across 2400 and 2500 megahertz. It is 50 volt GAN on silicon carbide, has 73% efficiency at P1dB. It is pre-matched input with no output match. This device is push-pull and is housed in our NI780 air cavity ceramic package. We do offer a reference circuit that is rated 2400 to 2500 megahertz in a small 2 by 2.7 inch compact board. Here are some advantages of the MRF24G300HS over our competitors' LDMOS devices. Ours is in GAN on SICK versus LDMOS. It is 48 volt as opposed to 32 volt, enabling higher output impedance and lower current. It is 330 watt CW versus 260 watt CW, enabling fewer transistors to combine with less losses and smaller PAs. It is 73% efficiency at higher power versus 68.5% at 260 watt CW. It offers more headroom to max temperature. It is 25% more power in a similar heat sink size. In class C, the VGS can remain steady at minus five volts. It is input matching only compared to input and output matching for LDMOS. And it maintains the 20 to one VSWR. I hope you enjoyed the video, and for more information on this device, please reach out to your local distributor or to us directly. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more industry-leading devices.